Hello and welcome to Dude's Comic Hall. I'm Jason and this is my video where I share with you the books I've picked up, new comic books I've picked up today. Um, I've got a big stack this week, uh, 15 books. I did originally think it was 17. Um, I don't know. I use the Comicology pool list app to kind of keep track of what books are coming out. Um, and sometimes like the like the day before they'll like some of the books will get changed um, so Sometimes at last minute you'll you'll think you're gonna buy a certain number and it will change It'll either go up or down um, Thankfully this week it was down so I was able to pick up two back issues as well I'm gonna share the back issues with you first and then we'll get into the books I picked up from this week um, It's a series I was thinking of getting into when it first came out about four months ago I think it was four months ago. These like Marvel. It's a Marvel book, so with their release date, it could have been two months ago. But um, I did cons consider picking it up at the time. I was kind of fifty-fifty on the art, so I didn't. Um, issue one, my comic shop I only had issue one, and it's the second printing, so I got that online uh, instead. Uh, but they did have issue number two. I, I do really like that cover. Uh, Iron Fist: The Living Weapon is the book, as you can see. I really do like that cover. I'm not as keen on this cover. Um, Iron Fist: The Living Weapon, issue number three. Uh, so I've got those to go at. We then jump in into this week's books, kicking it off with DC. We have Batman Eternal, issue number thirteen. Um, I'm enjoying this book. Um, Rick Yannin's back on art, but kind of worryingly, uh, Guillermo Ortega is also on art. So you get two artists. That you can use two artists uh, most effect really effectively. It can work, but you have to do it in a certain way. So I'm interested in how they're going to do that. Uh, but I am enjoying this book. I think there's been more good issues than bad issues. I think the story come out the gate. It was a really fast-paced story, and I think it has slowed down. Um, but I'm still really enjoying it, and I'm looking forward. There's a lot. With this book, one of the things that I'm finding, and we'll come to uh, their other weekly series next, but the difference I'm finding with this and Future's End is with Batman Eternal, I'm really invested in all the stories. I don't think there's a story I'm bored with in this. So every issue, no matter what kind of part of the story they focus on, I still really enjoy it. So yeah, uh, Batman Eternal, looking forward to reading that one. We then have Future's End, issue number 9. This is the other uh, weekly title. I am enjoying this book. Though I'm not really that invested in the Cadmus Island stuff with Grifter and Deathstroke. Um, I, I need a little bit more to get invested in that. And also Lois Lane's search thing. I'm like, uh, I'm not that invested in that either. Um, the bit I'm enjoying the most is the Frankenstein stuff. I think that is ace. And I could just, I could just go with an issue of that and, and I'd be happy. Um, I'm also enjoying the Batman Beyond stuff. But that seems to be moving really slowly, that story does. Um, so it's it's kind of like some of the things I'm enjoying, some of the things I'm not. I'm not. Uh, but overall, I'm enjoying the series. It's moving at a lot of a slower pace than Batman Eternal as it's building things. But um, I'm still really intrigued to see how everything kind of kind of matches up and where we're going. Um, and we've got this fella, this Superman. Um, I'm I'm fine. I'm interested in finding out a bit more about him as well. So yeah, all in all, I'm enjoying it. But um, there's some parts of the story they need to do something to get me more invested. We then have Green Arrow uh, issue number 33, which I am absolutely loving. This um, another great cover. Uh, Lemire and Sorrentino are doing a bang up job, um, and yeah, I'm just absolutely love this. This will be the first book I read this week. Um, yeah, definitely love that. We then have Green Lantern, issue number 33. This may be the last issue of Green Lantern I buy. Um, I kind of want to plug my gaps. There's, there's parts of the Green Lantern story that I've not read because I was away from comics. So there's stuff like Blackest Night, Brightest Day, I've not read that. And um, there's other, other stories that I've not got. And I don't know how important they are in the New 52, but I would like to go back and read them. To buy all the single issues is going to be too expensive. Uh, so it's probably better to get them on in trade. Um, I've already got some of them in trade so anyway, so it wouldn't take that much to kind of start catching up. So I'm thinking that this book might be a book that moves over to me getting it in trade. Um, but, and it works out well because they have a lot of crossovers with Greenland, so it might work out well. Um, but I may change my mind on that. But I, I'm I'm looking forward to this issue. This the Uprising story. Been, I've enjoyed it. Um, yeah, and I'm really interested to see where they're going to go uh, with this story. Um, 
But yeah, this could be the last one you see on my pool list of Green Lantern. We then have Swamp Thing, issue number 33. Loving, 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 loving this series. Um, there's such great twists and turns in this. Um, as like the decisions that Swamp Thing's made to, to kind of destroy the Parliament of Trees is kind of coming back to, to buying him in the ass as he's now all these things that the Parliament kept in, in, in that he didn't know about that they kept in line he's starting to learn and yeah I, I'm really interested where this book's going to go will he be able to maybe rebuild the Parliament of Trees is that even an option or you know is he going to have this like big struggle to kind of cope with everything yeah so mm, I'm loving this book and I'm really enjoying that Jump over to Image now, just one book from Image, it is Lazarus, issue number 9, um, loving this, I love it, one of the reasons I love it is the future you could see happening, um, you know, as the world's kind of controlled by corporations, and you can see where we're moving with that, and how big business often controls a lot of the politicians, so they get the things lobbied for that they want to get through. So, yeah, uh, I, it's, a, it's a, definitely a book, a, a future you could see happening. And um, I do like the, the core story in the book and the the common art. You can see the, the random bits starting to come together now, which I'm really liking. Um, I was also supposed to pick up Clone, but my comic shop was sold out. But I did find that on the internet. Thank you, eBay. Um, so, Clone will be using the post as we speak. If it's arrived before I do my reviews, I will read it and review it. If it doesn't arrive in time to be in my reviews, then obviously it won't. So now jumping over to Marvel, we have Black Widow, issue number 8. Uh, this issue sees a uh, come face-to-face -face Winter Soldier. Uh, we seem to be going through Black Widow's exes at the moment. Last issue, a Daredevil. This issue, Winter Soldier. Um, seems to be a lot of team-ups going on, particularly team-ups that are, are core, core to, to Natasha. Um, I'm enjoying this book. I didn't enjoy last issue as much. I love the cameo of Daredevil, but I just felt there was kind of certain elements to her character that she progressed and she kind of regressed last issue. So I'm hoping that this issue is going to get more consistent. Uh, but I'm still loving the art on this by Phil Noto, and I'm hoping this issue is going to be back to what we saw in issue six. Uh, we then have Captain America issue number twenty-two. I'm really loving where this story is going. Um, so as it says, it's the finale. It's the finale of what we started with Dimension X. I mean, sorry, Dimension Z. So I'm really intrigued. Does that mean Remender's leaving the book, or just that this is this story completed? Um, I don't know. The way if you'd think if his story was finishing, it'd be a natural kind of fit to, you know. I don't know. So yeah, we'll see. I don't know. I've not heard Remender's moving from this book, but. Uh, but I am enjoying this a lot. Uh, we've got different artists this issue. Or artists. I don't know. Is it, is it two artists? Oh no. Yeah. It's, it's Carlos Pachenko on art. With Mariana Taibo on, as an Inca. And uh, yeah. Dean White still on colours. Uh, but yeah. I'm really. I'm I'm really enjoying what. Remender's doing with the book. So. And the, the twist that they're going on now. Is really good. We've then got Daredevil Road Warrior 0 0.1. I wasn't really sure what this was. I I wasn't sure if it's like a one shot, if it's connected to the Daredevil ongoing series, or if it's uh, tied into some, one of the mini series that they've been doing. They've done quite a few mini series lately with Daredevil. I don't know, but it's written by Mark Wade, so I thought, you know, and I, I am quite liking the Daredevil character right now, so I thought I'd pick it up, give it a whirl. I didn't realise it was a 4.99 book until I got home. Um, but yeah, um, I, I honestly do not know what this book is about, um, we'll find out. Um, next up we have Iron Fist, The Living Weapon, issue number 4. Um, of course I've got issue 2 and 3, issue 1 in the post, so it was only natural to pick up 4 as well. The sensible thing to do would have been wait till issue 1 arrives, read issue 1 if I like it by issue 2 and, and so on. But no, I'm I'm Mr. Impatient, so and I've got to jump in with both feet. Uh, a bit too impetuous at times, uh, me thinks. Uh, but I, again, I think there's a lot of good covers this week, and that's another one of the covers that I really do like. So yeah, looking forward to reading that. Next up, we have Magneto, or issue number six. Is it Magneto or Magneto? Uh, or is that kind of a whole potato-potato kind of deal? 
Uh, but yeah, I'm really enjoying this book. I like the whole concept of Magneto kind of bringing to justice these people who have committed crimes against mutants, but not the, you know, law and order kind of justice, his own justice. Um, last issue was brilliant. I loved where the story went, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how we follow up that last issue, because the la last issue was great. We then have Original Sin, issue number 5, uh, which I'm, again, I'm in really interested again into where this is going to go. Because, um, like, the core title has kind of concentrated on the murder of a watch with the Watcher. So I'm really interested in what, kind of, who was behind it and how are we going to get to the truth. And what are the consequences going to be of getting to the truth. We then have The Punisher, issue number 8. Uh, I read through... I, I meant to read like over a few days, I had like Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I thought I'll read through the first seven issues of The Punisher so I'm up to date so I can, you know, this week when I pick it up I can I keep on reading it. Um, wow, yeah, I forgot <laughs> I was meant to read it until Tuesday morning. So, uh, Tuesday evening and Friday and Wednesday morning, sorry, Friday, where that come from I don't know. Uh, but yeah, Wednesday morning, I read through seven issues of Punisher. It was like, I was like the marathon man. Um, I don't know if it's a good thing that I managed to read all seven of them. If that's like an achievement, or if that's something I should be worried about. But yeah, I read through them. One of the weaknesses of reading the issues like that is that it kind of blurs into one whole. So it's very difficult to kind of separate what happens in each issue. But yeah, I'm enjoying Punisher, and I'm enjoying the way Nathan Edmondson's writing him. The last issue we were joined by another guy, uh, Kevin Mora, he's co-writing it now with Nathan Edmondson, so that's going to be interesting the direction that's going to take, but yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying The Punisher. Um, we then jump over to 4, God of Thunder, issue number 24, uh, the last days of Midgard, epilogue, so I'm super psyched to see what's going to happen in this. We've got Ribbage on art, but we've also got a, a dude called Augustin Alasio, so we'll see what he's like as well. I'm always a bit sceptical about two artists. It can work, but a lot of times it's not used effectively. Uh, but I'm hoping that this time it is, because I'm really enjoying For God of Thunder, uh, one of my favourite books right now. Uh, we then have all new X Factor, issue number 10. 10 already? Uh, wow. Um... I'm, I'm loving this. This is really great. I love um, how Peter David writes his books. I love this whole concept of a corporation having their own, of this big company having their own superhero team. And I think there's some interesting ways we can go with this. Um, I'm really enjoying this. I think it's really great. I'm not completely sold on the art. I believe it's been the same artist from issue one. Um, I'm not completely sold on him yet, but the story more... Uh, that makes up for it. So yeah, really enjoying that. So those are my books. Um, I will be back on Friday. Well, I would have been back on Friday with a review, but there's 17 books there to read. Um, 15 new ones. I'm not going to get through all of them by Friday. So the plan is, I was originally going to do my comic book catch up, uh, a video looking at original scene and reviewing all the issues so far in one video. I was going to do that yesterday. But I decided because I've got issue 5 coming out, I'm going to do that one in the catch up video. So that that's one less to review when I review the books. Um, I'm going to do the same deal with Punisher because I've read through all those Punishers. So I'm going to do the same deal with Punisher and the same deal with mm. Iron Fist. So those will be coming, coming mm. up later on. Um, so yeah, so those will be coming up later. And probably next week I'll do those other comic book catch up videos. But, it, but definitely, so Friday, you're going to get Original Sin, kind of catch up. On Sunday, possibly Monday, you're going to get my kind of reviews. Then some point early next week, um, I'm hoping I'll have time to do another kind of catch up video. Wednesday, I will be back with my haul video. Wednesday, Thursday, one of the two, because I'm working next Wednesday. If I've got time to record it and upload it, I will do that. Brilliant. If I have not, I will upload it on the Thursday. So look at so it'd be either that. So that's the plan for the next week. As is always the way, life can sometimes get in the way of our plans and they will change. But all being well, that is the schedule. Um, so yeah, I've took enough of your time up. Thank you very much for watching. Really appreciate it. 
if you like this video give me those beautiful thumbs up um, um, that would be great um, I, that leaves me to say um, I've been Jason this has been Dudes Comic Hall bye for now